Hey everybody, happy hump day. So I hope you guys are all having an amazing week. Weather is just beautiful. Perfect. It's Nine just degrees. perfect right now. So I hope you guys are all through your storms, at least being able to get out and get a little bit of sunshine. So as you're coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. We are coming to you from beautiful, cool California. Wednesday, it's been Mark has golfed, he's doing laundry, we're cooking. It's just been like kind of a nice, relaxing day. relaxing day at home. Busy day. <laughs> exactly. So you guys are going to absolutely love this recipe. Make sure you say hello as you come on. If you missed it, please put missed you in the comments so I can reach out and just say hello and check in, connect with you. And if you are brand new, welcome. Super excited that you found your way to our page. Put new in the comments. I'll reach out, properly introduce ourselves. But for now, my name is Renee. I'm Mark. And we are Team Terry. So thank you guys for everybody that is saying hello. Hello, Wendy Height. Hello, Brenda Klein. Hello, Georgia Baller. Hello, Deborah Archer. Oh my gosh. Okay, Renee cannot see that far, but I'm trying really hard, you guys. It's just one of those things of getting older, you know? Your eyesight is the first to go, right? So if you guys are not following us for all things keto, please make sure that you are. Tap on the screen, three dots up here at the top. Just select um, follow and turn on live notifications. Um, and then do us one more favor, you guys. Sharing is caring. Oven is ready. I'm ready to go. Sharing is caring, just like Leela Fuller just did. If you um, get value from this, you guys, make sure that you share it out. Put share it in the comments, and you will be entered into our monthly drawing. You definitely want to share this one to your page, so whenever you're looking for it, yep. you're going to have the link to the recipe. So I think that's it. It's like, I don't know. I think I'm coming down with something. I hope not. My stomach is feeling weird. I'm just, yeah, it's, it's just been one, of the, it's been one of those days. So I'm going to hand it over to Mark. I'm going to share it out. Okay, be sure you check us out on YouTube at Team Terry Keto. Team Terry is one word, the T's are capital. We've got all of our recipes over there. Hundreds of recipes from breakfast, lunch, dinners, fat bombs, appetizers, snacks, you name it. We've got them. If you would like uh, the link to that, put uh, YouTube in the comments and we'll get that to you. And if you're watching on YouTube, come check us out on Facebook. So this is a real quick uh, tuna casserole. I'm not a big fan of tuna casseroles, no. but this <laughs> Renee really is. So. I really am. And this, I'm interested to try this because it does have cauliflower in it instead of noodles, which noodles aren't the best for you. So um, this one, there'll be a, a, a lot lower calorie and a lot better carbohydrates for you. So let's get started. I've got uh, 20 ounces, which for us is uh, three cans of tuna that was packed in spring water. I drained those, I put them in a bowl here, and then I'm just splitting it just to flake it out so that it mixes with everything else real well. I've got uh, a cup of mayonnaise I'm gonna add to that. I've got a third of a cup of sour cream that I'm going to add to it. And then uh, some salt and pepper, some uh, uh, smoked paprika, which is a very interesting uh, ingredient that I want to try and uh, some Dijon mustard so the two of those together are kind of intriguing it's something a little different so just you guys while Mark is finishing that up you do not have to memorize all of this because we will um, post the recipe if you want the recipe please put recipe in the comments and we will send it to you. And then one thing on the tuna, you guys, if you're wanting a little extra fat, you can always grab the tuna in oil and that will give you a little bit extra fat. Okay, so we've got all of those ingredients that I mentioned in there. Um, I've still got uh, a half a cup of green onions and a cup of shredded mozzarella that I'm going to put in there. Um, and before we started the show, I, uh, I cooked uh, two cups of broccoli, flor uh, cauliflower floret. He bleached them too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really broccoli, guys. Yeah. Oh so goodness. I put those in and cooked them for, uh, steamed them in the microwave for about five or six minutes, just to get them a little bit soft. And then I'm just going to chop them up. These don't need too much because they are... Um, they were florets to start with, so they're pretty much ready to go. They're already bite-sized. So I'm going to mix up the uh, ingredients I've got here, and then we'll add in the onions and the uh, cauliflower. And then once that's done, we'll mix in the uh, 
mozzarella cheese, and then we'll put it in a greased uh, casserole dish. Man, this is smelling good already. This, uh, this smoked paprika is very interesting with this tuna. I'm, uh, I'm interested to really try this and see. So you it's guys... a little bit different flavor than normal. Uh, thank you. So you guys, fun fact, um, I used to cook all the time, and this was actually one of the recipes that talked Mark into taking over cooking. <laughs> I used it, it used to be the one of the recipes that he was just like, oh my gosh, please don't make that again. It, so. The kids absolutely loved it, but I love tuna casserole. If you guys are like me, put casserole in the comments. I absolutely love it. I know that it's like not good for me anymore, so I'm super excited. I'm hoping Mark likes this, but tuna casserole is something I grew up on as a kid. I mean, we didn't have much money, yeah. so it was very inexpensive to cook for a family of, I have four brothers and sisters um yeah so it's very inexpensive and i so i'm excited about this <laughs> see tara says casserole perfect okay so i've got the cauliflower in here i've got the green onions in here we're gonna fold this in so it's all mixed together well um and then i'm gonna add the uh, uh, uh mozzarella cheese the shredded cheese and i'm gonna put it in the uh casserole dish and then we're going to top it with a gruyere cheese um, I found the gruyere at uh, Save Mart you should be able to find it with the specialty cheeses you want to get there's another one in the cheese drawer there, yeah. um, you can find it's it a French level. yeah it's a uh, Swiss, Swiss Switzerland, yeah. Switzerland cheese um, and it tastes mildly like uh, Swiss cheese not real strong so yeah. um, it, it's I'm very interested with all the different flavors that are in this I'm sure this uh, to is see be, how it's going to taste. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So you guys, if this turns out wonderful, I will let you guys know. I'll post the recipe. I'll post the after photo. And then we'll probably add it to our weekly meal plan. Um, we send out a meal plan every Wednesday. So I'm sure a lot of you guys got your meal plan today. If you got it, but got mine. If you are not on our list yet, make sure that you put meal plan in the comments and send me a um, a direct message. So that way Facebook doesn't stop me from sending you the link to join. We send them out every week just to give you different ideas. Like I said, I was one of the ones that I cooked all the time, just like most of you guys do. But my hardest thing was coming up with ideas. And so coming up with the ideas every week was just the most difficult thing. That's why we always ended up with tuna casserole. <laughs> My kids, like, they love tuna casserole. They like chicken and dumplings. They like that kind of stuff. But I'm excited to see the keto version of this. And I'm honestly thinking this is just me because I like crunch in everything. So if you guys like crunch, put crunch in the comments. I was thinking pork rinds on the top of this as a topping, you know. Okay, don't push it. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Oh, this, this would man. be a, this would that would add some crunch to it. Yes. Um, we gotta get past the fact that this is tuna casserole, and I like. <laughs> not a real big fan he of tuna casserole. He is so, not. Look at see people like crunch. Yeah. yeah. So you guys, that would be my suggestion. You could definitely do that, and you could use the flavor. Um, uh, pork rinds. Oh yeah, the 805s. 805s from Costco. Yeah, yes, absolutely. there's some, a lot of different flavors that would go yeah. very well with this. He's like, don't push it, woman. I made tuna casserole, right. and um, we'll see. Because like I said, it's just not his favorite. I don't think he's a big tuna fan, let alone the cream of mushroom and all that other stuff. So okay. we'll see. I just topped it with all of that uh, Gruyere cheese. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And it'll be ready for dinner. Oh, Colleen, that's a great idea. She said the du um, dur Durke onions, babe. The dried onions. You know, the dried onions. The Durke onions. I know what you're talking about, Colleen. I absolutely do. Yes, I think that would be really good on top of that, too. You know the can, the little can of onions that are like crumble onions that you can put on top of it? That would be good crunch, too. So oh, you, the dried onions. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 I think they're Durke. D R K E E. I didn't know the name, yeah. yeah, so those would be really good on it too. So, you guys, I will post the recipe. So, if you want the recipe, put recipe in the comments, you guys. Make sure you direct message me if we haven't talked in the last three months because I would love to get you into our group with all of our recipes. I would love to get you on our meal plan list um, and just help you to find some easy recipes to help make your life better. 
healthier. Who knows, maybe he's gonna be a huge fan of this. I know I am, and I am really looking forward to some comfort food. So I see the recipes in there, you guys. Um, and like I said, it'll have this yes. cheese in there. It'll yes. have everything written out for you. You guys I can print it out. And it's from Switzerland. Never heard of it before, but I know it is gonna be amazing. Switzerland makes some good cheeses. Okay, so you guys, if you got value from this, or if you get value from any of our recipes, please put value in the comments, smash on that love button, and share this with somebody you love. It's how we reach more people, and we're very passionate about helping people just find easy, yep. simple, healthy recipes just to live their best life. So I said, somebody said they're from Alberta, Canada. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. So thank you guys. I see everybody saying re a recipe, and thank you for all of the love. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. So we love and appreciate all of you. Thanks for spending some time.